So what does Zoom need you for? That is an excellent question, Katie. You know, I've been asking myself the same thing, but it doesn't matter now. I'm not gonna stick around much longer. Wait, I, I thought you said your powers don't work inside this cell. They don't. You're right. So you're gonna help me get out of here. Why would I help you? Listen, honey, there's no way you are making it down that cliff all by yourself. So let's make a deal. You get me out of this box, and I'll help you get home. Might even throw in some wardrobe tips for free. Hey, YouTubers, it's Charlie. Winter is coming, so we learned a little bit about what's going on with Killer Frost in Season 3, so there's just going to be a breakdown. So the big news is that Kevin Smith is directing Episode 7 of The Flash. He just started this week, and it seems like the title, some of the text on this page that you can barely make out, that it's a Killer Frost episode. So first big thing, big hell yeah, totally awesome. Don't know if it's going to be our version of Caitlyn that turns into Killer Frost, that would be a pretty freaking big episode, or if it's going to be an alternate universe version, or if there's going to be another character on Earth-1 to become Killer Frost. Because one of the big changes with Earth-1 Caitlyn's story that they've already confirmed is that her mother is coming on the show, and they actually referenced her during Season 2 when she and Killer Frost were locked up, and Killer Frost made a joke about their mother being a bitch in both universes. So her mother's going to come on the show. She's going to be like this really big biotech person who's kind of like an Eobard Thawne version of Tina McGee, in that, you know, she's like a very successful scientist, but has the personality of Eobard Thawne. Seems like a really not nice person, a frigid personality. Make all the ice puns that you can think of. But I'm wondering if they're going to weave it into Killer Frost's backstory from the comics. Like they're going to do some fun spin on Killer Frost this season, and it's going to involve her mother, and there's going to be a couple deep cuts from the comics, because there have been three big versions of Killer Frost in the comics. Caitlyn Snow is just the most recent version. She really didn't become Killer Frost until the New 52. The first version of Killer Frost is called Crystal Frost, and she was actually part of the Firestorm comics. Killer Frost was a big part of the Firestorm comics all the way back in the 70s and 80s. In the 80s, Louise Lincoln became Killer Frost during like the Wally West era of The Flash. So there's all kinds of story that they could pull from. She even teamed up with Mr. Freeze, Icicle, and Captain Cold for this big Superman-Batman crossover, but I'm not expecting them to do that anytime soon. But whatever they end up doing with Killer Frost this season, it'll all be based on the stuff that they're already doing on the TV show, the stuff they did last season. They usually try to avoid retreading stuff, so keep in mind that Flashpoint's gonna change some big things, probably something big about Caitlyn's character. I feel like the biggest thing that they could do is turn her into a metahuman Cisco style where it's not like completely visible, but then later she has an accident in the season and becomes Killer Frost. We haven't really seen footage beyond the first episode. Caitlyn appears here in Star Labs treating Wally West, so as far as we know, she's normal Caitlyn when the season picks up, but, you know, a whole bunch of stuff can happen in those first couple of episodes. If you remember, we got Gorilla Grodd relatively quickly last season. We got our new version of Firestorm, so they're going to debut a whole bunch of new characters, you know, both bad and good. So whatever's going to be happening in episode 7 in this Kevin Smith episode, it is going to be Killer Frost centric and it's going to be some big WTF moment because this is going to be happening during a time of year when sweeps is happening, when networks push like their biggest WTF moments so that they guarantee eyeballs. In the United States, it's this big advertising period. So TV shows try to do like their big events during this specific time. It's like at the end of November, beginning of December. So that's why they're doing the big Fortnite crossover during this period too. So leading up to it, they want to do everything they can to get you to watch The Flash. So they're doing a fan favorite character from the TV show, Killer Frost. And they're probably going to do some crazy event that will help lead into what's happening during the big Fortnite crossover. So remember last year, Kevin Smith directed the Runaway Dinosaur episode? That was a really big episode. They did a bunch of big things. We had this big revelation about the nature of the Speed Force. There's like an intelligence behind it. There are Speed Force wormhole aliens. Barry seemingly comes back from the dead. Cisco uses his powers in a way that he had never done before. Just a lot of big things happen in that episode. So in that same vein, episode 7, probably going to be dropping some giant Killer Frost bombs. So let me know. What do you want them to do with the Killer Frost character this season? Do you want to see Earth-1 Caitlyn turn into Killer Frost? 
Do you want to see Earth 2 Killer Frost come back, or do you want to see another multiverse version of the character? I feel like part of the way they change the show each year with different plot devices, like the big wormhole in the sky, Flashpoint, as a way to kind of refresh the characters. Like, look, it's the same actor, but it's kind of a different character. I feel like it'd be really hard for them going forward to turn Earth-1 Caitlyn into Killer Frost and then take that back in the future season. So just be prepared for Killer Frost on the TV show to not be our Earth-1 Caitlyn. And from a production standpoint, it's actually hard just to have Daniel Panabaker walking around in all that makeup. It's like a crazy amount of makeup. It takes way longer than it would normally take to get her on set for like 180 days a year for filming as Killer Frost. So I know everybody's getting hype about Killer Frost. Just a reminder, there is a new round of the Flash Season 2 Blu-ray giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber, leave a comment on this video. There's going to be a whole bunch more Marvel DC stuff happening this week. But also just as a reminder, YouTube rolled some updates so you can actually click on the links that I add at the end of videos now. If there is a bug, it should go away pretty quickly. But let me know in the comments if you guys do have trouble clicking on those links at the end. While you guys wait for that to post, you can click here to watch the last big Flash trailer I just posted. And you can click here to watch the latest Ghost Rider Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. trailer. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.